Hello, I'm Bill Starling, President of Sampson Community College. On behalf of our faculty and staff, I want to congratulate all of you that are completing your requirements for the Practical Nursing Education Program this, this year. We're especially proud of you for being able to make it through the many challenges that we have all faced as we've seen disruptions in our schedules and our classes in the spring and the summer term. We're proud of you who are committing yourselves and your lives to helping others especially during this time of the challenges that we all know are out there in the medical community. Again, we look forward to seeing the successes that you will have in your career and for many of you the opportunity to see you return to your education in the coming year. Again, on behalf of all of us with Sampson Community College, congratulations. We look forward to following you as the years go by. To the class, LPN class, of 2020, congratulations on meeting your milestone and completing your program of study. We're so excited for you. And even though this year has been challenging with COVID, you have succeeded. You are entering a profession that is rich in compassion and that's what you will need as you enter in this pandemic. Again, we are proud of you. We're here for you if you want to continue your studies. If you're entering the workforce, we pray for your continued success. And if you ever need SCC, we are here. Again, congratulations on completing your program of study. Let us pray. We give thanks to you, Father, for allowing us to gather in this holy place today. Thank you for our families that have supported us through our studies. Bless our instructors for their devoted services to this nursing class and in helping us to achieve our goal. And God, we thank you for giving each of us the strength and determination to complete our studies. May this day be a celebration of your life within us. Please see us safely through this evening and all of tomorrows of our lives, and we will give you the praise forever. Amen. You may be seated. Hello and welcome. Dr. Starling, Ms. Capps, board members, administrators, faculty, staff, family, and friends. I wish to bring greetings to you on behalf of the Practical Nursing Graduating Class of 2020. Without your collaborative efforts, our nursing programs could not exist. This pinning ceremony is the activity which culminates many hours of hard work and lost sleep. On behalf of the nursing faculty and these 20 graduates, thank you. Additionally, we would like to thank all the clinical facilities and agencies who work cooperatively in allowing our students the opportunity to prepare for the world of nursing. To the graduating class of 2020, you made it. In the beginning, this day may have seemed far away, almost out of reach. You have shared good times and sad times together, all of which have strengthened your bond as friends. Now you become nursing colleagues with, within the healthcare profession. We challenge you to advance yourselves in the field of nursing, not only at the bedside, but to become leaders in this rewarding profession. Never stop learning and always strive for excellence. You are the future of nursing and we, miss you. we wish you much success in your future endeavors. Tonight, I would like to thank all of you for your support and encouragement. We cannot have achieved this goal without the help and support of so many people. So we'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you. We would like to thank the general education faculty, student services, and student support staff in the college. You have played an important role in our education. We owe a special debt of thanks to several clinical agencies. The healthcare program could not exist within these facilities. First and foremost, to Sampson Regional Medical Center, Mary Green Nursing Center, and Cape Fear Valley Health. Thank you for the time in the clinical setting to allow us to practice and excel with our nursing skills. Also, we are grateful for the experiences we have had with Clinton City, Sampson, and Cumberland County daycare facilities. We would also like to thank Dr. Bill Starling and Sampson Community College for allowing us to have our ceremony in the school auditorium. A special thanks to our instructors for your knowledge of the nursing profession and helping us become well-rounded, client-centered, practical nurses. Your faith in God is what makes Sampson Community College Practical Nursing Program stand apart from other programs. Your kind heart and caring words have helped each of us through many difficult times. Ms. Edwards, I think we can all relate to you in many ways through your wit and humor. You have a way of lightening the burdens of nursing school and making us all realize it's okay to make mistakes, as long as your patient isn't in, harm way, in harm's way. No one is perfect. One thing we will never forget is the moments when you turn so red we don't know the answer to a question you have told us a hundred times. 
Ms. Knowles. Thanks for always laughing with us. It truly did lighten the stress of the situation. I'm sure that we can all agree that making us work hard to find our own answers to each question we had has helped us become knowledgeable and well-rounded nurses. Ms. Hernandez, thank you for being a friend and for sharing your knowledge of nursing with us. Ms. Lang, your mannerisms and morals along with your background in nursing places a bar that all of us strive to meet in both the nursing field and in our personal lives. Thank you for being so sweet, kind-hearted, and for praying with us before each test. We as a class could not be more proud to have each of you as instructors. We would like to thank Ashley Register, Department Secretary, for keeping us all in line. A special thanks is also extended to Leanne Burgess and LaVonda West, unlicensed program instructors, for providing us with the foundation to begin our nursing education. We also want to thank the Associate's Degree Nursing faculty for providing support and encouragement as well. And we especially want to thank our families for your love, support, understanding, and patience. Without you, we would not have made it. Thank you. We love you very much. Last but not least, to my fellow classmates, nursing school has not been easy, and in the past year, not only did we have to deal with class, taking exams, and locking ourselves in our room away from our family to study, endless amounts of clinical bank work, and having to be at school before the sun rises, we also had to add in the factors of jobs, family, sickness, loss, and the daily stressors of life itself. We have all been home in tears, felt like failures, and second-guessed why we ever came to nursing school, but through it all, we made it, and I could not be more proud of each of you. The nurse's pin. Each school of nursing designs its nurse's pin. This pin is worn by the nursing graduate to signify the school from which the nurse graduated. The Sampson Community College practical nursing pin is designed with a cross in the middle, symbolizing spiritual guidance and devotion of service to others. Olive leaves on both sides symbolizing peace and the school name. The year 1892 is engraved on the pin to symbolize the year the first school to train practical nurses was established. The nursing class of 1992 designed the Samson Community College practical nursing pin. The nurse's lamp. The nurse's lamp is a symbol of the perseverance of one of the most influential persons in the history of nursing, Florence Nightingale. Florence Nightingale demonstrated vision for what nursing ought to be and could be. Her vision contributed to nursing becoming a respected healthcare discipline. <laughs> Her persistence regarding the nursing profession and her dedicated service during the day and night made her famous when she and her nurses made their rounds carrying oil lamps during the night. She became known as the Lady with the Lamp. The Nightingale Lamp became the symbol of nursing. Today, many, nurse, many schools of nursing display a model of the lamp as a symbol of dedication. The Nurse's Prayer, let us pray. Loving God, we thank you for our gifts and talents, for calling us to share in your ministry of healing. With a desire to serve you more fully, we pray for minds that seek wisdom and truth, for hearts filled with gentleness and love, for eyes that view others with compassion and understanding. May we listen with sensitivity and acceptance. May we speak with words of reassurance and comfort, and may all whom we touch experience your healing presence. Oh God, help us to continue to serve you and your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I bring you greetings on behalf of the Health Division at Sampson Community College. Congratulations, Class of 2020, on a job well done. You have mastered quite a few challenges to reach your goal of completion of the practical nursing program. You transitioned successfully to online instruction. Many of you balance multiple responsibilities while completing didactic instruction online and completing preceptorships in the clinical settings. Now, you join the ranks of over 1,000 SCC nursing graduates who serve locally and abroad in many capacities. Congratulations and best wishes for much success as you transition into one of the world's most trusted professions. As you know, the World Health Organization and the American Nurses Association are currently celebrating 2020 as the Year of the Nurse. These organizations are engaging in initiatives to advance nurses' vital position in the transformation of healthcare in our nation and around the world. Additionally, we are honoring the 200th anniversary of Florence Nightingale's birth. We celebrate the value of our great profession at a time when nurses are on the front line of a war against the devastating wave of pandemic pandemonium. 
on March the 10th, 2020, after some 180,000 cases and 4,000 deaths around the world, the World Health Organization declared the coronavirus a pandemic. Nurses responded, as always, to the clarion call to prevent the further spread of the virus, to protect those at risk, and to care for those suffering from the ravages of the disease. This type of call to service is not new to our profession. In 1918, a disastrous influenza pandemic erupted. Home visits from nurses who provided critical nursing care was one of the few treatments that were available at that time. Following the principles set forth by Florence Nightingale, nurses were at the forefront, modeling, hand washing, uh, proper sanitation, and preventive measures such as social isolation. During subsequent decades, nurses have served as frontline providers during more recent outbreaks, including the H1N1 swine flu, Ebola, the severe acute respiratory syndrome, or SARS, and the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. Nurses at this very moment are making unparalleled contributions in the management of this health crisis, serving as a crucial link between the patients and the other members of the healthcare team. Nurses continue to arise to some seemingly unsurmountable challenges as the war rages on, from providing direct care to affected patients in hospitals to leading public health operations. The 24-7 efforts of nurses employ evidence-informed health principles in the care of some of the world's sickest patients. Nurse warriors are demonstrating skills in areas such as disaster preparedness and predictive modeling, hospital and field operations, and human resource management. Most importantly, nurses are delivering compassionate care, often to patients who are isolated from their loved ones during their last hour. So yes, it is indeed the year of the nurse. The American Nurses Association has highlighted three important words, anchors that embody efforts of the campaign to recognize nurses' contributions to health care and the impact that we're making on national and global health. The words are excel, lead, and innovate. My hope is that you embrace and adopt these principles that the terms represent. Excel means to surpass or to exceed, to be exceptionally proficient or good at something, to actively pursue achieving a higher level, distinguishable superiority, seeking to be better and to do greater. Lead means to be a catalyst or means of access to a, a particular place. It denotes initiative in action and providing an example for others to follow. Leaders guide by moving ahead in advance. Innovate means to change, to make a change in something that is established, especially introducing new creative thoughts or ideas. It involves effecting change by adding new features to existing services. It is the exploitation of fresh ideas, creating a competitive advantage improving efficacy and efficiency. So as you enter the healthcare settings each day, I want you to think about your own practices and the ways in which you will be a leader and an innovator. Consider new ways to en enhance your patient's um, outcomes. Excel by being the very best on your unit, the best in your facility or in your health system. Step up and be an advocate for the necessary changes that help meet needs and to facilitate the delivery of quality care. Nurses are experts at being creative, work to discover ways to use technology and other tools to impact patient outcomes, collaborate with peers, and to enhance your workflow. Your innovation, caring interventions, and collaborative expertise is going to bridge the gap between your patient and the healthcare system. You've been equipped with the skills and the knowledge that you need, and you already have gained momentum. So I look forward to your continued successes as you advance fearlessly into the looming nuances of this rapidly changing healthcare arena. You have been well prepared, and you are ready to assume your roles. 
Keep the central mission in mind, promote wellness, prevent illness, and restore health. We are counting on you to be the best that you can be. Jordan Nicole Betzel from Stedman, North Carolina. Jordan plans on continuing her education to include trauma and flight nurse training and eventually emergency medicine nurse practitioner. Jenny Britt is from Willow Springs, North Carolina, and she plans to continue her education to become an RN. Michelle S. Clark from Hope Mills, North Carolina. Michelle wants to establish a career as a psychiatric nurse, as this is the area of healthcare that she's most passionate about. She hopes to bring a positive change and break the, the stigma associated with mental health in our community. Megan Lee Crespo from Clinton, North Carolina. Megan has a passion for nursing and plans to continue to get her RN and further advance her education. She would love to work in an emergency department when she graduates from nursing school. Cecilia Dell Davis from Roseboro, North Carolina. Cecilia's goal is to obtain her Master's of Science in Nursing, and she says she couldn't have reached this goal without the support of her family and prayer. Morgan Page Gentry from Salemburg, North Carolina. Morgan says becoming a nurse has always been a goal in her life. She plans to continue her education to become a registered nurse with hopes of one day working in labor and delivery. She is very excited and can't wait to see what this journey will bring. Elizabeth Gomez from Warsaw, North Carolina. Elizabeth says her plan is to continue to pursue a goal of becoming an RN. She hopes to become a travel nurse in the future. Jaleesa Hicks from Clinton, North Carolina. She says she's very excited to see what God has in store and follow the path that God has for her. She plans to continue furthering her education in nursing as far as possible, and she wants to be a prime example of why excellence in nursing matters. Lakia Howard from White Oak, North Carolina says, if you find it in your heart to care for somebody else, then you have succeeded. She plans to continue her education and obtain her Bachelor's of Science in Nursing. Ashley Parker Jeffress from Dunn, North Carolina. Ashley says she has a passion for the nursing field and plans to continue her education by receiving her RN and hopes to work in labor and delivery. Clem Kessler from Apex, North Carolina. My goal is to practice as a prudent, respectful, and well-informed nurse. The mental health field has always appealed to me and I will be interested in pursuing employment in that area. Alternatively, I would also like to work on a mother and baby or rehab unit. My educational plan for the future is to become a licensed RN and I intend to keep that dream alive by studying hard and being grateful for my family and friends, my job, and my faith in God. Monica McGuire from Pinehurst, North Carolina. I plan to work in a psychiatric unit and continue on to receive my RN licensure. Michaela Sage Murphy from Rose Hill. I will be working at Pender Memorial Hospital after obtaining my LPN. I plan to further my education by attaining a BSN. The rest is a mystery. I look forward to a bright future. Raja A. Murphy from Clinton, North Carolina. I plan to pursue psychiatric nursing. I want to give a big shout out to God who makes everything possible. Thanks to everyone who believed in me and never left my side. My favorite quote is, put God first and reach past the sky because there is a universe beyond it. My advice to future students will be to keep striving and never give up. Daniel J. Pickford from Wallace, North Carolina. I want to thank God and my family who helped me get through nursing school. I also want to thank my instructors who are wonderful as well. I would like to work on a mid-surge unit for a while before returning to Sampson Community College to pursue an associate degree in nursing. In the future, my plan is to work in a psychiatric hospital. Liz Bed, Serrano, Avenida. A first generation graduate, I plan to further my education by returning to the RM program. Additionally, my goal is to be a NICU nurse. Madas Strickland from Mashpee, Massachusetts by way of Clinton, North Carolina. I have been happily married for three years to my amazing, very supportive husband, Christopher Strickland. We have three beautiful children and expecting the newest addition in September. My journey to become a nurse has not been an easy road. However, 
With persistence and determination, I have finally accomplished some of my dreams. My hope is to be a pediatric nurse. I cannot wait to see where this journey takes me. Madison Tart from Roseboro, North Carolina. I am the second generation to graduate from the PM program at Sampson, following in the footsteps of my grandmother, whom graduated in 1994. Jessica Vu from Clayton, North Carolina. I plan on working in the mental health field as an LPN as I continue to pursue my RN license. And Courtney Young. I look forward to starting my career as an LPN. I plan to continue my education to become an RN and to continue to live out my dreams. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to pass my life in purity and to practice my profession faithfully. I will abstain from whatever is deleterious and mischievous and will not take or knowingly administer any harmful drug. I will do all in my power to maintain and elevate the standard of my profession and will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping and all family affairs coming to my knowledge in the practice of my calling. With loyalty will I endeavor to aid the physician in his work and devote myself to the welfare of those committed to my care. Please rise for the benediction. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your blessings. We thank you for helping us complete our nursing education. We pray that you will guide us as we apply our knowledge and use it to glorify you and your work. And now, Father, as we go our separate ways, I pray that you protect, lead, and direct us every day. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.